Ah, medical terminology. A course designed to teach you hundreds of prefixes to form thousands of medical words. How are you supposed to remember all those definitions? Your brain can only hold so much. You may even feel like you're drowning in a sea of mystery words. You've tried everything you can think of to make this content stick. Flashcards, repetition, you've even tried singing it. But what if I told you we have the solution? Without homework, without taking notes, without the monotony of time-consuming repetition, and without any prior knowledge of medical terminology, Dean Vaughn Medical Terminology 350 is a trusted approach to maximizing memory retention. With this proven program, you'll learn the terms through a series of audionyms, a unique combination of verbal and visual cues that makes it easy to remember, and pretty hard to forget, thousands of medical terms. I mean, we're talking some outlandish audio and visual associations here. Using the Dean Vaughn program, you'll learn and remember the meanings of 350 prefixes, roots, and suffixes that combine to form over 11,000 medical terms. And you'll do it in as little as 14 hours. Once you start learning medical terminology with Dean Vaughn, you'll be able to break down the meaning of virtually any medical term. When Dean has taught these secrets to rooms full of students, people lose their minds. Experience Dean Vaughn Medical Terminology 350 for yourself. To show you how it works, we will look at just 5 of the 350 medical elements taught in the course. Check it out! The first step of the learning process is to create a sound-alike word for the medical element. The Dean Vaughn Total Retention System has named this sound-alike word an audionym. Audio means sound. Nim means name. An audionym is a sound name, a sound-alike word for the element whose meaning you want to remember. An audionym is always something you can see. It is a unique and important part of the Dean Vaughn Total Retention System. For example, gaster sounds like gas truck. You can see a gas truck. Since gaster means stomach, the gas truck is associated with stomach in such an illogical way that you will surely not forget it. Watch this. The gas truck has a real stomach for a tank. Can you believe it? Just try to forget this. The more illogical the association, the easier it is to remember. Gaster, gas truck, stomach. As part of the learning process, participants are asked to pronounce certain information along with the narrator. Because nearly all medical elements are abstract and unfamiliar, the Dean Vaughn Total Retention System converts the names of the abstract elements into familiar objects, or audionyms. It then visually associates the meanings in such an illogical way that they are incredibly easy to remember. In this course, all the audionyms for the elements are created for you. Next, here is the element CARDI. Cardi sounds like cards. So see this image of cards, a game of cards. Cardi means heart. So as you look at the cards, all of a sudden they are real live hearts. You can see the blood dripping and hear the hearts beating. How could you ever forget this? Cardi, cards, heart. Next, the element Aiden. Aden sounds like a den. Aden, a den. Here you see a den. Aden means gland, so the image of a den is changed to look like this. The den has glands hanging on the walls. They are cold and damp. Aden, a den, gland. Next, the element bluffer. Bluffer sounds a little like blue fur. Here is a lady wearing a blue fur. Bluffer, blue fur. Bluffer means eyelid. So, as you look at the blue fur, all of a sudden it is covered with eyelids. They even wink at people walking by. Imagine the blue fur with eyelids all over it, and you won't forget that bluffer means eyelid. Bluffer. Blue fur, eyelid. And now, the last of the five medical elements, a suffix or word ending. 
itis. Itis sounds like I test. Here is a teacher holding test papers saying I test as she prepares to test her students. Itis. I test. Itis means inflammation. Since inflammation is a condition and is not a specific object, this association will require an additional step. An audionym will be created for inflammation. How about inflames? See the teacher saying, I test inflames. Inflames makes it easier to remember inflammation. Itis, I test inflames inflammation. Let's review the five elements you have just seen. Gaster sounds like gas truck and it means stomach. Cardi sounds like cards and it means heart. Aden sounds like aden and it means gland. Bluffer sounds like blue fur and it means eyelid. Itis sounds like I test in flames and it means inflammation. Medical terms are made up of combinations of elements like these. Here, for example, is the term gastritis. Medical terms are typically interpreted from right to left. Gastritis, from right to left. Inflammation of the stomach. Carditis, from right to left. Inflammation of the heart. Adenitis, right to left. Inflammation of a gland or glands. Blepharitis, right to left. Inflammation of the eyelid. Even more complex medical terms are easy to understand when you know the meaning of its elements. Look at this medical term, gastroadenitis. Just interpret it from right to left using the elements you have already learned. Gastroadenitis, inflammation of the glands of the stomach. Blepharadenitis, inflammation of the glands of the eyelid. With each new element learned, the number of medical terms you know increases exponentially. For more information, visit deanvaughn.com.